Hey, there she Look is. You. Looking gorgeous and lovely. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? I feel great. Yeah. <laughs> um, great. It's been, I've been up since 4 a.m., Shannon. Can you believe it? I've been getting work done and busy me, right? But I haven't been up since 4, but I've been up early about you today and your creative talent of makeup, male grooming, and uh, artistry. Um, so, guys, before we get started, Shannon is a good friend of mine. We talk about everything from life to relationships to people to the world we live in to everything. We, this is, if I need girl advice, she's giving me the gems. But anyway, I met Shannon a few years ago uh, at a club I worked at. Uh, Shouts out to Tom, the Crocker Club. Shannon then was training in the gym in North Hollywood where I used to train and she started becoming my client and then we just kept in touch and then we're here and we're great friends and she's a real one she's genuine and uh but she's she happens to be a celebrity makeup artist so we talking about oh she's her thing is butt friendly you there yeah I'm here okay cool all right all right so Shannon you, you know before we get started can you just tell people like uh, where you're from and how did you get started into like doing makeup? Um, I'm from New Jersey and I started first, I was painting and doing art and um, it kind of just fell. It was like, oh, what am I gonna do? And actually I was working with a makeup artist who was doing my makeup for a shoot and I was like, hmm. This is like interesting. I like this because it's like you're working with people. So it kind of just the art took me into doing makeup on the faces. Kind of like that. Got it. So, so art led into like makeup. So, was that always your passion as a child? Did your mom inspire you? Your dad? Like, who, where did you get your inspiration to, uh, to be an artist or start doing art? Where did that start? At what age? A very young age. Okay. I started just like doing, well, instead of paying attention in school, I was drawing pictures in class. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes. I mean, kind of yeah. should have probably paid attention, but that's where it started when I was younger. And then it just led to doing makeup. And now actually, I'm, since the quarantine happened, I came back to doing art, actually like right. painting. Right, we're so, going to get into that because you're a really, really good artist. Evolved into a circle. No. Yeah, and so how how long have you been a uh, makeup artist? Um, been doing make. Gosh, it's been over ten years. Really, time flies. Yeah. I've been in LA ten years. <laughs> and so I I know we talked um, we talked a few years ago about how persistent can you kind of give people here the story on how you kind of got into the makeup industry and how persistent you were with signing with your agency or can you just kind of give us that synopsis i think that's um, important for people to not very get persistent. Train. yeah very very persistent i did everything that i could possibly do to get in the industry like get someone's coffee i worked i did whatever i would yeah. work I worked at the Mac store and then on the weekends I would do music videos, assisting people constantly. Con I did so many free jobs before I started yeah. to get paid, like tons of free work. I still do free work because yeah. if, if I'm passionate about the project then they might not have a lot of money, but it's something where I get to be creative. I feel like you have to constantly keep, keep yeah. your foot in the door, keep, cause it's like, the trends are constantly changing. Things is constantly changing. So you have to keep like evolving in this, in the entertainment industry. You can't, or you'll just be stuck. Yeah. You know, so it's very persistent, very, and I still do it. Like the hustle has never stopped. That's why it was yeah. so nice for quarantine, like 2020. I actually was able to like sit down for a second and not, it's like constantly when you're a freelance and I've been freelancing for over 10 years, you have to constantly reinvent yourself. It's like such yeah. a, I love it, but it's a lot of work, you know? Yeah. And how do you get better as a makeup artist? Like how do you sharpen your tools? Is it just constantly doing like other people's makeup or working? Like how do you get better? It's a lot of practice, a lot of practice. 
um, working with different people, challenging yourself. I like to watch other makeup artists that I look up to um, and practice trying different things. You know? What was someone you look up to right now that, that stands out to you that you like? Um, I, well, there's a lot of Joe Baker. Um, Joe Baker. There's, okay. there's a lot of makeup artists that can just, they're, they're my peers um, that I yeah. love and I get inspired from. Mm -hmm. And so you say you've been in the business for about 10 years. When was your first celebrity client and who was it? Um, my remember. first celebrity client was Jennifer Hudson. Oh yeah, that's right. Shouts out to Jennifer. Hey Hudson. That's dope. And that, what, what was that? Was like your first year, your second year? How, how long did it take you? I was just started? working at the Mac store and she like came into the store to try products and I just said hello to her. And I put like, you know, sold her some stuff. And then yeah. she called the store like two weeks later asking like, oh, why don't you work with that girl that helped me? And I was like, oh, and it was on from there. And so you, you, you actually got a, I, uh, a gig from working at a store. I got, you know, you met the, on set or through someone at the agency. That's no, just from being at the Mac store. But a lot of it has to do with like, not only in this industry is like your um, work, it's also um, your, like your skills, but it's also your like personality and your energy that you bring. Yeah. You know, you have to kind of like, you're working with so many different people and you're in their faces, you have to like kind of adapt, you know, yeah. and just be like a chameleon and just really feel what people are going through and kind of just, you know, and you have family. energy, by the way. Let's talk about that. You're a 2911, Life Path 11. Shannon is a healer, guys. So she has very great, beautiful energy. She's a good soul. And I feel, I, I just got this epiphany, Shannon. I feel when you do other people's makeup or grooming, you're actually healing them. I know that might sound crazy to some people listening, but I think mm -hmm. your energy and your makeup, your artistry is healing them at the time. I don't know what you're healing them from, but... I feel like it's more than just makeup with you. I feel like you put your passion, your energy, your love, and I think people can feel that. And that's why they want you around. They want, you know, they want to be around you. And they wish Shannon, get Shannon, get it, you know, get Shannon on set. You know, <laughs> you know, like that's that's one thing I always stood out to me. Like just hanging, like you just have great energy. I think that's very important when you're a makeup artist or whatever profession you is to really value your energy and the work you put into yourself. You put a lot of work into yourself. You work out. You read books, you do a lot of self work. And I think that shows in your work, you know? Yeah. So, you and know, I love what about I, do. I truly love what I do. Yeah. Like, I love it. You can but see I it. wanted to also, because um, I feel like you said men's grooming, and I feel like we always talk about like women and makeup, and the industry is so about women and makeup. Yeah. But I wanted to, like, you know, touch a little bit on cause yeah i definitely different. wanted to you know because 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 we know you got to leave soon because you have to be on set because you're always working <laughs> <laughs> we won't say what celebrity but we know you got to be on set soon so i appreciate um, you here while you're here but yeah male grooming it's very important i think it's underrated um we don't, we don't get enough attention and thankful that i was able to go on a tv show and being seen on camera all the time it made me look at myself different and let's talk about that. Where do, I actually have some questions for you <laughs> <laughs> that I put in my notes section of my phone. So one of the questions is, as a man, uh, and for men, what should they be aware of when it comes to grooming themselves? Like, what's the first thing first from a woman's perspective, from a makeup artist's perspective? What should we know? What should we think about? Well, I feel like uh, definitely, like, skin like uh blackheads okay a lot of guys don't like i don't know maybe not promoted towards women and men actually love to be pampered because all my male clients yeah, love yeah, all yeah. the little things and um guys there's things well i have some things that there's a bunch of little things that i use to um when I'm on set for guys and not all the time can I, so when I'm doing women's makeup, I focus more on like putting the makeup on because I only have a certain amount of time. 
with men, I focus more on like skincare because I don't, I don't, I have more time. I don't have to like put makeup on. So I do things like maybe um, hot towel, wash the face, get the blackheads out the nose. There's different things that you can use like these little strips to get the, these are clean and clear, the little strips that you put on the nose. Oh really? I need to get some of them. And it's great. So like if you steam your face, yeah. Beforehand with a hot towel, hot towel, steam your face, um, not like scorching hot, right. and then put this on there. Um, so you get the blackheads off, and then you let it dry, and then you can rip it off. Got I it. suggest also like getting facials. You know, you get facials. Yeah, I get facials once a month. By the way, everyone, once a month. And if, if you can get a facial once a month, women and men, I'm telling you right now, your skin. <laughs> I have yeah. no foundation on ladies. Like, okay, I get a facial once a month. <laughs> it's an investment, yeah. but it's so worth it. Like you're, and drinking lots of water. Lots of water, yeah. Lots of water and sunscreen. Oh, see, can you talk about that? My esthetician tell, tells me about sunscreen all the time. I'm like, oh, I'm not wearing sunscreen. I'm black. I don't need it. Can you kind of give people no, a, a, just I don't a care brief? What skin tone color you are? Sunscreen. Why sunscreen? <laughs> Because it protects your skin. Well, the sun right now is so harsh. And like any dark mark you have on your face, it's going to make it darker when you go out in the sun. For uh -huh. ladies, they, you know, women of like fair complexion, they will not see, you don't see sun damage usually until you're older. So you can uh -huh. walk and get it. And then when you get older, you start to get like darker marks. So sunscreen is so important. And for darker complexion, it just makes other areas darker. So if you have a mark that's darker or around your mouth or anywhere on your face, it just makes it darker. It just protects your skin from the sun. And let me show you one sunscreen. Sorry. Right. Star this Ema, I got your questions too. I'm gonna ask those questions soon. Shout this out to Star. sunscreen right here, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Is seriously what? the best. What's the it's name great. of it? Um, it's E-L-T-A-M-D. -E but okay. it's so good for darker skin tones as well. Like right. I know a lot of darker, like people with darker complexion, they're like, oh, it makes my face look white or it smells. This is does not do any of that stuff. It's so good. Okay. Yo, so Star Ema had a question. Her question is besides gender, what are the major differences, differences <clears throat> you notice with male grooming as opposed to women? Um, differences. Well, with the differences, like, well, mostly, uh, let's see, then, when I'm applying the makeup or, like, the differences, in my understanding. Did you get stuck, Eric? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear well, me? The, we'll say with applying makeup. Um, yeah. I mean, when I do makeup on men, I do like less makeup. Um, okay. You know, like I don't put a lot of makeup on. I may mostly focus on skincare when I work with men because I have more time to focus on skin skincare. When I work with women, we only have a certain amount of time, and women are more into their skincare. Yeah. Men aren't as much into their skincare, but I feel like as I do men's grooming men get into are into it like these little um eye patches yeah i got some of them i actually just put them on right now <laughs> men love these and then all my male clients love these eye drops they're called lumify and uh -huh. they make the white of your eyes like so white uh -huh. and they love these see these are like little things that men can do Without yeah. putting makeup on to like. You know what, Shannon? One day I gotta come over and uh, maybe we can do like a, a reel together. You kind of like do like some steps on like the eye drops, the things underneath the eye, and just give people a tutorial of what that feels like and looks like. I'm I'm willing to do it if you yeah. Are. Yeah. Because guys think. like they there's lots of little things that men can do to like, you know, pump up their. Pump up the value, pump up the value, pump up, pump, 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 and, pump, pump, and pump up the like value. Had, like, this little thing, this is like a little beauty trick in the industry. Like, it's like, um, fills in dark, you know, like if you have yeah. any grays, 
And then they have this thing, contraption, which is if also if you want to fill in your hairline or something, you can use this. Love it. She, so start email, uh, Miss Star Style has another question. She said, how would you describe your personal makeup style? My personal makeup style um, for women is I like a fresh face with like a pop eye or a pop lip. I love to keep the skin fresh. I do not like a lot of makeup on the face. Even when someone has, um, you know, skin, or maybe they need to cover up their skin, you don't need to use a lot of product. What I see a lot of times is on the YouTube and the tutorials is like people using so much product. You don't yes. need to use that much product. Like a lot of the products these, they make these days are very pigmented and you only need a small amount to get the, you know, the look or coverage that you want. But yeah. um, I love to see skin. I love skin, but I yes. love color. Yeah. And I don't care what age you are. I don't, you can always put a fun eyeliner on and keep your skin like fresh or fresh skin and like a nice bright lip so i like color with fresh skin yeah well, so and as i like a man. men's makeup too i like putting makeup on men like eyeliner or not every guy is into that but i think yes. it's definitely something that's like you know being i mean thank god being more accepted you don't have to like yeah they know, put makeup on when we go on set when i'm on set for like uh, different tv shows they put like bronzer or stuff like that. I guess that's what you call it. Yeah. Um, I know as a man, I run or come across women who have a lot of makeup on and it's obvious and I can see it. So from your perspective, being, you know, an artist and makeup and doing makeup, what do you think is the misconception that women have about makeup? Because you can literally see that they have so much makeup on that it's like it's not even their face. Why do you think most women put so much makeup or they don't know how to apply the makeup? I think, well, you know, what the, right now, I think maybe we're, it's pulling back a little bit, but like a year or so or two ago was like heavy makeup was like the industry, like the oh. era. <laughs> makeup has like an era. If you go back in time, you can oh. the 20s, the skinny brow or, you know, the 90s makeup. So I feel like the era of makeup is just more heavier, but I feel like women are starting to like pull back with the makeup. Or they might be just thinking like maybe they're trying to cover something up, yeah, you know, yeah, or they just don't know how to apply the makeup on their face. They have never like maybe had someone show them or, you know, they're watching the wrong tutorial. It's like just, you see, not everything is for everybody. You know, That's when true. I do different yeah. clients, I create a look that's catered towards them. You know, I don't give everybody the same brow. I don't put the same lashes on everybody. When I pick lashes for people, I'm looking at the texture of their hair. Oh, if they wow. have big, thick hair, they can carry a big, thick lash. If they have their hair is thin and it's a lighter color, I'm not going to put a big lash. What I see is a lot of makeup artists, they do the same face on everybody. And it's not, everybody's face is different. Yeah. You know? So. But if I uh, Mr. Art Style said they see something on online or they see something and they apply it to themselves and it's not necessarily, you know, you have to kind of yeah. create your own thing. There's another question. What are two products every makeup artist should have in their kit? Two products. Um, oh my gosh. It's like, I need all mascara is definitely one of them. Um, yeah. And I mean, foundation, I mean, mascara is like, I feel like, let me say this, like, I think every woman should have mascara uh -huh. and some type of lip conditioner that's like- Lip tint. conditioner? Hold up, hold no. up, lip conditioner? No, 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 that's, no, something with that, lip. that's tinted that you can yeah. use on yeah, your lip lip and your, I have lip conditioner on my lips and I put it on my wow. cheeks. I want some lip so conditioner. <laughs> it's like you can have that on the go. You can put it on your lips and your cheeks. Like a lot of women are scared of, I think, blush sometimes. But blush, 
when it's applied to the apples of the cheeks, it gives such a youthful look to the face, like a mm -hmm. younger, youthful look to the skin. So um, you don't have to apply it all over. It's just little amounts. It's best to start off with little amounts and you can add because it, you know, easier to add on and take off. See, I like that. Someone just said, I'm here for the male grooming tips. You might've missed that segment, but can you kind of, what thing should a man have in his bathroom or in his bag, his to-go bag? You said the eye patches, right? Okay, the eye patches, so the eye gel things, the yeah. strips for the nose to get out the blackheads. Right. The Lumify um, eye drops, Lumify, yeah. they're so good. Sunscreen, um, a good- oh, yeah, that's sunscreen right. yeah. a good exfoliating scrub um jack uh jack black this line is really good for men i love it and brow gel for the eyebrows is really good for guys to it just gives like you could clear brow gel to brush the eyebrows oh. up um yeah and if you can get a facial once a month yeah facials babe once a month and i like the teeth whitening strips i had yeah them. white strips hey white shout strips. out the crest the white strips so there's so many little things that guys can do to you Let's know get the hand, keep the hands and done and also another little thing that i if you get razor bumps um yeah. stop using razors and use clippers to yeah i use clippers is the razors. When you use <laughs> razors, they mess your whole situation up. Yeah. So look, well, there's a segment in, in the live that I do just to break up the questions. Uh, it's called rapid fire. So I'm gonna say two, two words, you're gonna pick one. It's really simple, really easy. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's catered to you and what you do. So it's not gonna be too crazy. It's gonna be very simple. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Art or makeup? Um, art. Dancing or singing? Um, dancing. New Jersey or Philly? Um, Jersey. <laughs> Squats or lunges? Lunges. Squats. Painting or drawing? Painting. Um, having a great uh, dinner out? Or a great dinner cooked inside? Because I know you like to cook. A great dinner cooked inside. Oh, oh there you go. Gemini, Shannon. Yeah, so I just have a few more questions, Shannon, because I know you got to go. Um, what up, you know, so when you do makeup, right? Oh, no, let's, let's get into art, because I think we did enough makeup. We did enough of male grooming. Let's get into art. So you have an art piece there behind you. Is that your art? Did you do that? Yes. OK. So when you're about to paint something or draw something, or what's your intentions when you're creating something? Like, do you have to be in a certain space? Is it emotional for you? Is it something to kind of kill time, if to kind of break up your, your profession with you want to start something different? Like, what is your intentions? Like, I, I go to the gym to move my energy around and shift my emotional state. Or I play basketball to have fun. Like, why, like, for art, what is your intention and inspiration behind doing it? Um, well, when the quarantine started, I couldn't do makeup on people's faces. So I started cutting magazine faces out and painting over those. Got it. And when I first started, it was just on paper and it was just a way to like, it's like a form of meditation for me. It's kind of like I go into a zone. I have no, I'm just focused on that and not thinking of anything. Um, and I started to be like, oh, I like doing this. And I was, I mean, I did one every day almost, or yeah. I worked on, and I, I didn't watch no TV during the quarantine. I, not one show, painted like almost every day. Now they evolved to on canvas. But when I do it, it's more like the things that I'm going through, like emotions. So frequencies and colors that I see and things that I, that I feel that I might be going through like um, you can see colors well like in your like in your mind when you're painting yeah. you see colors wow how does can you get can you run that process that's kind of dope <laughs> well um it's all started when I took psychedelics uh -huh. I, mean, yeah. I mean a lot of people might be but actually they changed my life yeah. and I saw a lot of it um colors yeah 
when I took the psychedelics, a few times when I've taken psychedelics, um, it let me see a lot of things and it made me realize how much we are really connected to each other, to yeah. earth, <clears throat> to everything. So a lot of my paintings are created from that ex those experiences that, experience. that I had. And also like life experiences, things that I go through in my life. And it's just like colors kind of um, mean emotions, like yeah. hot, cold or love feelings or sad feelings. I kind of just put it out on the painting. So it's almost kind of like, you know, whatever I'm kind of going through or sometimes what other people are going through. I have a lot of friends that we talk and you know, share yeah. their experiences. So sometimes I put that on my paintings. Yeah. Mostly it's like emotional stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I never knew you that you saw colors. I think that's kind of, that's intriguing. Should I, should I take some psychedelics? I want to see colors. <laughs> I think my energy is already psychedelic. It's all, it's gone on so many colors in here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, do you have a painting that you can show us um, right now? What's that behind? Well, this you? Is one painting. Can you can you explain what does that mean? This guy looks like he's gonna hurt me. What, what are you doing? No, it's kind of like energy being transferred. Oh wow! To like this yellow person is like the energy. Uh -huh. and this Person is kind of taking the other person's energy. Oh wow! And it's like going moving through. It reminds me. It's funny you, that 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 means that because it reminds me of the Soul movie, where they were in the the Lost Souls in the movie. You know what I'm talking about, right? There, I haven't seen the movie yet. You, oh, you haven't seen it? Oh, you gotta I know, watch it. I know. And it, it makes so much sense. So I, know, I need to watch it. You told me to watch it. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a part in a movie where they're in a, like desert sand and it's like these lost souls that are people and they're like looked like demons and they're all dark <clears throat> then they got this like genie or magician guy who comes and just take their darkness away and then they wake up like oh what am i doing like you know it's mm -hmm. it's kind of uh interesting so yeah you gotta watch the movie maybe some psychedelics while you're uh oh yeah because right. <laughs> it's it's good it's like I saw them. I put it on, so yeah, yeah. maybe. But that's dope. So, uh, so moving forward, I mean, we know you're gonna always do celebrity makeup and makeup here and there. Can we look forward to some Pizzetta paintings or art? Like, is it a yeah, way for people to kind of get some art from you? Oh yeah. By the way, uh, Dante said, "Are you still gonna do his piece?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm working on like trying to well i'm just like been doing some research to like evolve more with my paintings yeah. and how i can make them better and i'm gonna go bigger with my paintings um real big uh -huh. but it's you know i i've been working on set for like the last two weeks and it's been working like every single day so yeah. i haven't had time to paint but i'm gonna actually go really hard with my painting so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so people listen. Shannon is very, very soft spoken, but she goes hard. <laughs> She's a hustler. <laughs> she gets it done. And in the gym, by the way, ladies, you can do pull ups. Shannon can do eight pull ups. I don't know the last time you did a pull up, Shannon, but I know when we was training back back then, you was doing pull ups, baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, Shannon. I mean, is there anything else? You know, I know you gotta go because you gotta you gotta work in a few. Is there anything else that people should know about makeup, male grooming, and just being an artist in general? Um, I think what I think about for your prof profession is freedom, right? I always say, in order to be me, I have to be free. And I think you're so free and uh, effortless in your profession that it shows in your works. But is there any advice or feedback you can give people that want to get in the makeup industry, people who are trying to improve their skin and their their, their appearance, because I think it's very important, especially if you live in like this town of LA. Yeah, I mean, for anyone that's trying to get in the makeup industry, is don't give up. It's definitely a hustle. Like, um, you know, just keep going at it. And whatever it is that you 
the, the great thing that we have right now is Instagram and social media, which I didn't have when I was first started. So if you, you have put out what you want to attract. So you want yes. to do a certain type of makeup, start doing that makeup, do it on your friends, do it on your family members, do it on anyone that you can get and put it on your social media and start putting out there what it is you want to attract, yeah. you know? And then for people with their skin, care you know just self-care take that extra time in your, your day drink your water the best way to i feel like to get eight glasses of water um a day because i know it's hard is as soon as you wake up drink two glasses before you do anything before you drink your coffee before you do anything go straight to the kitchen and drink your glasses of water two down there you go. <laughs> I like that. Now I don't know throughout the day how you'll work it. And then always drink two glasses before you go to bed. Oh, so that's four. Okay. That's how I work it. I don't know. And it when people, I'm telling you right now, water is the key to good skin. I don't care what it's, it plumps your skin. Guarantee, drink water for a week and notice what your skin is going to look like. Because when your skin is dry, that means your skin, you're two days behind and dehydration of your body when your skin is dry and your lips are dry yeah. so water 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 drink water people agua you need it you need it you need it it's good skin last question shannon because someone just chimed in what's your skincare routine because you have nice skin and you look great what do you do to keep it i mean other than drinking water how do you keep it so you know on a consistent well, um I drink water. I wear sunscreen every single day. I do not leave the house without sunscreen. I never go to bed with makeup. Well, first of all, I don't wear a lot of makeup, and I never go to bed without washing my face and moisturizing. Mm -hmm. um, and if I do wear makeup, I wear a small amount of makeup in the center of my face, and I kind of just blend it out. And to be honest, getting a facial once a month is like change my skin. Yeah, it's it's a it's an investment. And if you can't afford to get it once a month, look up online and do some type of facial to your face once a month. It's hot steam, get yeah, the blackheads out, yeah. you know, because it really, a lot of people though have like their skin will be bad and it's just that their skin is not being properly cleaned. Mm. That's it. They don't need like, you'll go to dermatologists and try to put you on medication and it's usually most of the time it's just that their skin needs to be properly cleaned once a month because it's just like dirt gets in your skin and just builds yes. up builds up yep so I, this might be a, a rhetorical question like i should know the answer but i'm not sure do you still apply sunscreen when there's no sun outside <laughs> yes. i apply it every single day really sun, every day i don't leave <clears throat> my house without sunscreen okay Got I'm it. 40, baby. Like, no marks. Hey, baby. Glowing. Holla at the player. Shannon Pazetta. Celebrity makeup artist. She does art as well. She's a, uh, what is it? What are you, a directive creative and also um, male grooming. You still got, you know what? By the way, you did do my hair and um, my face for uh, Bacardi. So I was looking at it the other day. I was like, okay, okay. She had me nice. We gotta do some more because a lot of my photo shoots like that's the thing as a, as, a, as, a, as a male and as a man like you know when you're taking photos if you don't have somebody there like touching you up or have the brush or the you know the sponge your hair might dry out so these tips you've given me uh i actually got to come and get or send me the for the for the for the nose for the black heads and the stuff for the eyes i got the stuff yeah. for the eyes i need the nose and you know what let me get off here. I'm going to go in my bathroom and put on my sunscreen because I have some. So thank you. You're welcome. Well, Shannon, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, you. Have a phenomenal day. Be safe. If, if there's anything else you want to share, um, they can follow you because you have two pages, right? What, what is the page? Your first page that we're on now is Shannon Pizzetta, right? Your first and last mm -hmm. name. And then you have something else called Pizzetta.art. It's kind of like more of my art and I share like a little bit more of my personal feelings on there, Got like it. quotes and just things that I might be feeling. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, there you go. There you go, people. Shannon Pozzetta, she's amazing. She's phenomenal. She's about to go on set and work because she's always working. She's a hustler. That's why she's so great. Um, <laughs> thank you for the energy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Eric. Happy Friday. Be safe. 
and uh, spread that good love. And, and, and Eric, for everyone to know, this guy is, he's came very far. I'm very proud of you, Eric. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's been a long time coming. I've been working. I've been working. You met me when I was just 24, 20, what, 26, 27 at the Crocker Club. Trying to get I know, it. So, Come on in. Ago. So long ago. You're, you're a hustler, too. Yeah, so we got to get it. This is why we connected. So thank you. Um, like I said, be safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Everybody, I'll be putting this live on my actual in-feed post for a few hours. So go check it out. Comment, tell your people to go watch it and uh, get some makeup tips. Shout out to Shannon and all Thanks, of her. Eric. Have Thank a you. good day. All right, have a good one. Bye. All right, see you. Bye bye. Bye, Shannon Pizzetta. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> Nobody is reading my chats. I see you. I'm chatting like a fool. Y'all be good. I got to go and continue my day. Happy Friday. Be safe. Love yourself. Know yourself. Be yourself. I'm out. <laughs>